Hey everyone and welcome to another episode from Lucky Fish. In today's video we're going to review the performance of our copper coat anti-fouling after almost six years. I hope this video clears up a lot of the misunderstanding about copper coat out there and encourages more boat owners to consider using this environmentally friendly and cost-effective product. At the end of the video we'll give you our prediction for how much useful life we've got left in our copper coat bottom. We have no association with copper coat, but we're always happy to promote a product we believe in. Okay, let's go. I'm Zaya, I come from Mongolia and we have been sailing across the Atlantic Ocean and around the Caribbean for the last five years. And I'm Stuart and I'm passionate about sailing and teaching sailing. And just recently our cruise expanded with the arrival of this little guy, Leo. When we bought Lucky Fish in South Africa, the first thing we did was grind off the ablative anti-fouling and switch over to copper coat. Although the product cost us $1700 for 12 litres, which is between two and three times the cost of an ablative like Micron Extra, it has turned out to be one of the best decisions we made and paid for itself in the first three years. You can check out our step-by-step -step application video here in the link above or in the description below. Regular hull cleaning is needed on all anti-fouling systems and copper coat is no exception, but with some important differences. Depending on where the boat is located, we have found that wiping the hull over with a Scotch-Brite pad needs to be done every month or even every two weeks in high growth areas. We learned this the hard way while in Sarasota, Florida three years ago. We're going to Lido Key, we're going to anchor over there for an hour or two. Beautiful day, we're going to scrape the barnacles off the bottom. Hopefully they come off easy. It's been sitting here in Sarasota in the bay for five weeks almost and we haven't de-slimed it which we should have every two weeks and now we're about to pay the price so we'll find out there's quite a bit of growth on it. Sarasota is possibly the marine growth capital of the world. The harbour is constantly fed with nutrient rich runoff, warm temperatures and limited flushing from the tides. Copper coat, you know, there's a, there's a bit of a trick to it all. I think we're working it out. But it's not an issue if you big barnacle growth on it. It um, comes off clean. You need a sh nice sharp metal scar. A broad one like this, just nice slow gentle strokes. Get it right back to, literally back to the copper coat. Just a few little bits of calcareous crap lined in places but not much. It's really quite good and I'm quite impressed. That was pretty bad growth. Worst I've ever seen. Welcome to Florida. No surprise then that practical sailor conduct all their anti-fouling tests in that harbour and regularly fail all products in their testing. We left the boat on a mooring there for a month or two without wiping the hull and wham barnacles set up home in no time and grew like topsy. How is this possible? The key to success with copper coat is to remove the slime layer that forms before the barnacles start. The slime seems to shield the barnacles from the toxic metallic copper and gives the barnacles an opportunity to attach to the hull. From there they grow in size and number rapidly. The remedy is to regularly wipe the slime off with a Scotch-Brite pad, which is a very easy task. Leave it too long and you have to resort to more drastic means like a metal scraper. Because copper coat has a hard surface, the metal scraper does no harm to the coating. Oh, what happened to our beautiful little thingy? Check out the video above or in the description below for the full story on our barnacle problems in Sarasota. 
Hey everyone, if you're enjoying this video and would like to see more from Lucky Fish, then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. It costs nothing and it helps our channel to grow. Thank you. There has only been one other occasion where we have experienced barnacle growth. We sailed 3,000 miles non-stop from Ascension Island to Barbados and it was towards the end of that 23 day crossing we noticed gooseneck barnacles beginning to grow above the waterline and in places on the copper coat. We used a cunning trick to remove them and explained it all in the video linked above and in the description below. Ok well back to the present time. It's been over three months since I last wiped the hull for reasons you'll see in a moment. Once again here in the warm lagoon waters off Placencia, Belize I was concerned about how much growth we were getting. After weeks on anchor in self-isolation in known crocodile and sharky waters I plucked up the courage to plunge in, wipe off the copper coat and have a closer look at the hull damage we sustained from running aground on the reef. After five weeks here this is probably the most spectacular morning that I've seen. It's absolutely calm and under the boat it's like a swimming pool. So I'm going to go down and have a quick look at the skeg and, and the porthole, the damage on the keel there. First opportunity since uh, we hit that reef up at South uh, Long Coco and uh, hopefully the news is all good. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> Didn't look too bad. Bit of great over it though. Here's the keel. Too bad either. Alright, first time I've seen the bottom here. A little bit of weed, sand. Not very interesting from what I could see, but to be honest, I don't much like swimming here. This is repeatedly alligator country, although we've never seen one. There's certainly jellyfish here, stingrays, probably the odd shark, but mostly all we see are dolphins, which is comforting. Scrubbing the copper coat is one of the great pleasures on Lucky Fish. The slime just wipes clean off and best of all it doesn't shed clouds of toxic anti-fouling into the waterway when you're doing it. Just look at how easily the growth wipes off after two or three months since the last scrub. A blade of anti-fouls really should be a thing of the past in my view. And folks who knock copper coat simply don't understand the product. It takes me about 15 or 20 minutes per hull side or an hour or two in total to finish both hulls, skegs, rudders and keels. So 
So come and see a fan worm growing on our log. A bit of grass on the hull too. This is the last of it, just about to clean up the starboard side. <laughs> That was visible. Visibility is not as good as I hoped. Comes and goes. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can sneak up on that fan worm again. So after six years, how much longer do we think our copper coat will last? before we need to re-coat. And if it's a hard coating that doesn't ablate or wear away, why would we need to re-coat at all? Each year we slip Lucky Fish out of the water and do our maintenance. But before she goes back in, Copper Coat advise you to hand sand the hull with 600 grit, wet and dry. This is to expose fresh metallic copper. We have found the sanding can be sped up by using 400 grit. But of course, sanding down does thin down the thickness of your remaining coating and limit the lifetime of the product. I'm just giving it light sand before it goes into the water, exposing the copper. Look good. See, you can see the copper. We last sanded the copper coat and put the boat back in the water in Rio Dulce, Guatemala during January this year. I'll take you for a quick look at this copper coat. I noticed quite a few people have been asking about how it's standing up after five years or so. It's had four good sand downs now with 400 grit sandpaper. You can see the rudder here, we're just about through the orange peel. But on the rest of the hull, there's still quite a bit of dimpling. You can just see it there, so... I mean, that tells us that there's still quite a few microns of copper coat left on there. I think it's going to last us another 8 to 10 years, to be honest. Which is, uh, it's a great product. You can just see how good that hull looks. A little bit of patching there, you can see. Previous seasons. You just paint copper coat on copper coat, no issue. So there you have it, we're totally delighted with our copper coat bottom and expect to get 14 or 15 years useful life out of a single application. That's a massive cost saving and it's good for the environment too. If you enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe, share it on your social media and consider becoming a patron for just a few bucks a month. As always our sincere thanks to all our wonderful patrons. Until next time, thanks for watching.